What is going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in again and welcome to our very ninth, uh, ninth unboxing number 9 and the first one for 2020. But before we dive into it, here's a quick message from our sponsor. <laughs> nah, just kidding. What I wanted to quickly talk about is the packaging my game was delivered in. You see, I ordered this game from Amazon Japan and like I guess most of you, I ordered lots of stuff from Amazon before. But from Amazon Europe, where I live, whenever I order something the size of a standard Blu-ray disc, like a PS4 game for example, the packaging they send it in is barely larger than its contents. It's basically nothing more than a simple envelope made of recycled cardboard. Still trash of course, but Amazon Japan on the other hand, for whatever reason, always sends even a single game in these huge ass boxes, affixes the game onto another piece of cardboard using some sort of shrink wrap and then puts everything into yet another little plastic bag. <laughs> I mean, just look at this, all this trash, for this little thing, why? And it's not like they only do this for international orders, they do the same thing when I'm in Japan. So please Amazon JP, I know you just want to protect my stuff, but maybe take a note from the European branch and reconsider your packaging. It doesn't have to be that much. <laughs> anyway, enough with the ranting, back to the unboxing at hand. And for today's unboxing, we're gonna take a look at the recently released complete edition of Wonderland Kazakiri's Block Quest Maker for the PlayStation 4. Block Quest Maker was originally released in 2018 for both Android and iOS devices before being ported to the PC shortly after and then the Nintendo Switch and PS4 a year later. While the Nintendo Switch release was also released in the West, including North America and Europe, the PS4 version is only available in Japan at the moment. Which is a bit odd, considering the PS4 version already contains English, French, Spanish, even Polish and German languages. This would suggest a western release might occur at some point in the future, but yeah, for the time being the PS4 version is a Japan exclusive. In case you're not familiar with the game, imagine a mix of the classic Sokoban with some light fantasy RPG elements and a high emphasis on puzzle solving. Combine it with a Mario Maker like editor and you should have a basic understanding of what Block Quest Maker is all about. Creating and sharing your dungeons and discovering the thousands of dungeons made by other players is basically the heart of the game. You can create logic puzzles, traps, place enemies and NPCs and so on. It's not extremely deep, but offers enough tools to create fun little dungeons. This complete edition comes with the two add-ons Samurai Era and Cyber Century, which add several new tiles and enemies and traps, as well as 120 challenge dungeons which range from pretty easy to hard as hell. But let's not dive too deep into the game itself and continue with our unboxing. And this time, I came prepared. <laughs> okay, let's have a look inside. Well, it's just what I expected. A single disc and nothing more. My game did come with an instruction manual slash guidebook, but it doesn't fit. Why didn't they make it in a size that it would actually fit? That's kinda… I don't know. But let's have a closer look at the booklet. It's pretty nice actually, a proper manual I'd say. Something we don't see often these days, so I gotta give them credit for that. But I also have to mention that this comes in limited quantities. What this means is, it's not a pre-order bonus per se, but chances are that your copy of the game won't come with a manual. Yeah, I know. Oh, the obligatory manga at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little extra. Even though it's stupid, it doesn't fit in the box. Let's have a closer look at the disc. I kinda like the style. It's more or less the same as the cover artwork and reminds me of good old ESO City and Pixel Dam. I wonder if those are still around. Okay, ESO City is still there, but Pixel Dam is gone. And that's pretty much it. Not much to see in terms of physical content apart from the little guidebook, which isn't even guaranteed to come with every copy of the complete edition. But at the risk of sounding like a broken record, 
that's just the way it is these days. Special, limited, complete, deluxe edition, it just doesn't mean anything anymore. The game itself is still nice though. Let me know if you'd like to know more and I might do a short little review. And of course I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. If you did so, feel free to hit that like button. If you didn't, don't hesitate to drop a dislike. And as always, thanks for watching, enjoy gaming and see you all next time.